Now we open up the vault and dig a little deeper to the early 2000s. Joe Satriani talks about his gear, Hendrix, his approach, and then a special blues jam by me. Enjoy. I think every time I do a show, there's got to be a hundred times during the show where I'm thinking about Jimi Hendrix. The inspiration. I just, for years I tried so hard not to copy anything that he did, but it just keeps coming out. I'm probably, you know, 99% influenced by Jimi Hendrix, his artistry, innovation how he performed. I mean, you can look, my setup is very simple, you know, I don't use uh, uh, computers or, or uh, a rack uh, with, uh, you know, a hundred different effects in it. I pretty much uh, copy what I, you know, what I've seen uh, uh, from all the footage taken at the Fillmore East, the Band of Gypsies concert, which was uh, using Marshall amps and Marshall speakers and uh, a couple of little boxes on the floor. I still keep it all on the floor, I like it that way. But I like the attitude of it, that he takes the stage with a minimal amount of tools and he doesn't try to recreate the album sound, which, was so, which is a whole other art world for him. But to just try to create a special moment for the audience and the band that night, so he would try to assemble tools that would allow him to be free for that particular moment. And I thought, well, that's a really great attitude. You know? Well, it starts here with the guitar. This is uh, an Ibanez Joe Satriani guitar. This particular one is a uh, chrome prototype, and as you can tell, it's, it's got some imperfections. It's about 10 years old, 11 years old. This is when they were trying to figure out how do you take a wooden guitar and dip it in molten chrome without frying it, and uh, so this is one of the early experiments. It, this particular one turned out really solid. It took a few years for it to sort of grow into being a good instrument. All right, then we go down here. This is a, a, a wah-wah pedal here. Sorry, I stepped on your job. It's all right. It's pretty self-explanatory. Wah-wah-wah. Uh, distortion box goes from that sound to full power. This is a slightly different sound. It gives you that Hendrixy. This is a new technology called a whammy pedal. It gives a beautiful sound. And it's got different settings. It's basically a harmonizer that they put into a, a pedal. Wonderful little uh, box. Um, and we go over here. Uh, this is the guitar without the delay on it. Put a little bit of this, a little bit of that, second one, put a third one on, add a little bit of that, chorusing, and you get a, you get a big dreamy sound. It's beautiful. So we use that for special moments. <laughs> and then, actually if you turned all the way around, you'd see those amplifiers over there. Okay. These are the Marshall amps here. And uh, these uh, 100 watt Marshall lamps are manned by Mike Manning right there. Say hi, Mike. Well, Mike does just about everything. He uh, makes sure the guitars are in tune. He makes sure that they're all working, all the different parts. The uh, guitar's got a lot of mechanical parts in it. Uh, so he's got to make sure that every part of it's working, and then he's got to check the electronics of the guitars to make sure they're working. He's got them all ready for me. He's pretty much got, like, this is just the first half of the set. And he's got a script that he's got to follow, which guitar I need for which song. Sometimes he's got to go out and adjust the pedals or adjust some of the other effects in here to make sure that everything's working right. And he monitors the amplifiers and also keeps an ear on the speakers, which are out over there. 
and uh, tonight, you did. Yeah, tonight we've got a set of 75 watt speakers and a set of 25 watt speakers, basically because I couldn't make up my mind which ones I like, so we're using both at the same time. Thinking. Yeah, maybe when we go to mix the recording, one of them will sound better than the others. This is a wonderful view of a guitar out of the mind of artist uh, Rex Ray. That's what you're looking at right now. Look at that, that's just great.